because I know everyone likes kinky stories, <laughs> today I'm going to talk to you about the ultimate hero in everyone's life. I call him the Sperminator. <laughs> now, sperm cells consist of three main anatomical parts. The head, where we can find their genetic package, 23 chromosomes of DNA defining the sex of the embryo, and some other vital characteristics. Meat peas, situated just below the head, containing an engine of energy-producing mitochondria that propels the sperm's tail through the woman's body. The story of our hero goes like this. Exactly at the point where women start to enjoy it, and men usually finish, 250 <laughs> million sperms are burst out of a huge high-tech bazooka into the female's vagina. <laughs> this pleasant process called ejaculation is the worst nightmare for our poor soldiers. First of all, the, uh, the vagina welcomes them with a high dose of lactic acid, causing a massacre that will exterminate 99% of our army within 30 minutes. The survivors will face death at every turn. They will have to move towards the deep dark side at the back of the vagina, swim against the current of cervical mucus produced only during the ovulation period, and when they reach the cervix, if they are lucky enough not to be trapped in the uncharted tunnels called crypts, then and only they will reach the uterus. And as if that wasn't enough, the woman's health department called the immune system upon recognizing our sperms as intruders sends thousands of ruthless elite assassins called the white blood cells to come and kill them. <laughs> In this stage, we see a heroic act of some soldiers recently discovered and called the kamikaze sperms, having different antigenic structure, instead of wearing their military uniforms, they put on their fancy outfits, attracting the white blood cells to come and kill them, sacrificing themselves for the sake of their fellow soldiers. The 10 to 20 survivors will now enter the fallopian tube and will compete in a freestyle Olympic swimming contest, <laughs> where the first will gain the trophy of immortality and the creation of a new life. The egg. The champion has to be flawless, having the perfect structure. If there are any abnormalities, like two heads or two tails or a bent tail, besides not being so attractive for the egg, it won't be able to reach it in the first place. With today's ways of living, stress, smoking, drinking, more and more sperm abnormalities are observed in laboratories. So let us respect our soldiers who go under an enormous struggle to achieve fertilization by reducing these bad habits and enjoy sex because it's our only salvation. Thank you very much. <laughs>